Shannon Handy has more on the governor's announcement and reaction from local officials. For districts like San Diego Unified, the governor's announcement doesn't really impact them because they had planned on starting the school year with distance learning. But for other districts that had hoped to allow kids back on campus, they may have to pivot and make some changes. Schools can physically open for in-person education when the county that they're operating in has been off our monitoring list for 14 consecutive days. That means schools in 32 counties, including San Diego, are banned from reopening right now. Instead, they may have to start the school year with online classes only. We all prefer in-classroom instructions for all the obvious reasons, social and emotional foundationally, but only, only if it can be done safely. Counties are placed on the state's monitoring list based on several factors, case and testing positivity rate, hospitalizations, hospital capacity, and available ventilators. Once off that list and schools are allowed to reopen, the governor laid out additional requirements. Among them, masks for all staff and students in the third grade and above, six feet of distance, hand washing stations, testing and contact tracing, as well as improved distance learning, ensuring all kids have access to a computer and internet and are interacting with teachers and and students daily. Clearly, we have work to do to make sure that we are doing rigorous distance learning. While some of our local districts like San Diego Unified had already planned on starting the year with distance learning, others like Cajon Valley Union had hoped to allow kids back on campus when school starts August 19th. We'll all be watching our calendars closely and making our plans and adjusting. Assistant Superintendent Karen Minshew says despite the governor's announcement, she's optimistic given the fact they're already proving in-person learning can be safe based on their summer enrichment program model. We're not going to make decisions today. We're going to work with our board, our staff, our community, and um, look at what the directions are, what we can do, uh, what's not possible. Meanwhile, San Diego County Superintendent of Schools said in a statement, quote, the San Diego County Office of Education will carefully review the new order issued today and work with local public health and our region's schools to implement the guidance set forth. The governor also issued guidelines if once back on campus a student contracts the virus. They range from quarantining students to closing down entire districts depending on the number.